channel. Okay. Uh oh. What? <laughs> I accidentally out the wrong one. Uh oh. <laughs> I'll have Simon and Adrian to come in. They were, they were live. Oh. They were. Okay. All right. Hey, Tina. <laughs> Hello, Tina. Glad you could join us. <laughs> Thank you for coming. So you said Simon and them were on? Yeah, they were live. Oh, shucks. But they, they were doing that to, you know, look at everybody's finds and stuff, which they do all the time. And it's a good thing. Yeah. They're growing. They're really growing. Are they? Yeah. Uh, I draw light enough that at first... Uh, you may not be able to see anything until I start darkening it in. Uh, because first I just kind of make a preliminary sketch and see how it's going to work out. Hi, Orlene and Linda. Hi, Arlene. Hi, my Linda. <laughs> oh, is that your Linda? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's my Linda. <laughs> Uh-oh. My pencil's not sharpened all the way around. That wasn't good. No, I just sharpened three before we started. <laughs> well, me too. I, I did... Uh, Three and brought my pillow down. <laughs> Mary, um, Tina wants to know if you can move your book over to the center a bit more. Uh, yeah, I can, honey. This is what I'm going to attempt to draw this, these two people. And I will bring it over a little bit. <laughs> I haven't got a lot of space, so. <laughs> well, if you want to, you can just put the camera on you so they can see your drawing. No, you're in it too. You're, well, you're doing something that, that I want to do, so. I'm just doodling. <laughs> you're doing actual artwork tonight. I'm too tired. Hey, Jean Peter. You still buried in boxes, Jean? <laughs> Poor thing. She really was buried. Oh, my. <laughs> Hi, Jean. <laughs> now, when I do art, I do a lot of erasing, so... <laughs> Me too when I'm actually drawing. I got this uh, big old racer in my angel bag this month. The subscription yeah. bag for Defy. I about near wore yes. the first one. I about near wore the first one. Out. Well, I know the feeling. That's something I hope I've got down here is my eraser. I was going to tell her. She has <laughs> those every month. Stick them in my bag. 
I bought a box full of these and they are really good. They're pintail racers and they are really good. So. Hey, Clara. Oh, nice. Where'd you get those? Uh, on Amazon. Okay, and they're well, polymer erasers, so they really leave it clean. I, I really like it. When I finish these two, I'll have to check it out. What do I want to do? Well, the pencil erasers, you know, will start smudging and leaving marks. And, yeah. And really do that. These I got from Quick Care. I don't know what brand they are or anything, but man, they race clean. Do they? Yeah, really good. I, I, I like that. How come we got Clara is not showing here? Huh? Oh, he said, Kathy. <laughs> <laughs> I see your plan is day. She <laughs> just popped up now on Gene, your... Now, Gene Peter's not showing, so let's show that one. <laughs> That's uh, the pintail is your favorite eraser or Kathy's? I really like the pintails. That's, and I've got to have some light on if I'm going to be doing this. <laughs> I wasn't really prepared too much for this tonight. <laughs> Either that's why I'm doodling. <laughs> I was going to draw my kids and then I said, nah, I do them all the time. I think I cut her glasses down so I can get her eye in there. And tell them I've checked them out. I really do like them. Like I said, they're really clean. Oh man, Jean says she still has to pack books for those that were not at the auction. Um, Kathy, I can send you a couple of these because I bought a huge bunch. Jean says if ever one of you is unable to do it, if you give me notice, I could po probably fill in for you. Cool, Jean. All right. That'd be nice. I wasn't sure, and it was on my channel, and I wasn't sure tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I wasn't going to go on if you couldn't, because we had already said it'd be on your channel first. Yeah, I had uh, I had to do like three breathing treatments, and I think it must be a little bit of this dust coming through here, because the last couple of days I have really been been bad. I've tried to stay in the house, and it's still been bad. Grandma might be a little, pose me a little problem here. <laughs> and then maybe not. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I do too, Jean. to come out a little further and her mouth to come out a little further. I'm shortening her. You doing what to her? I shortened her face. <laughs> I I get, it back up, get it back out there. I don't like that mouth. <laughs> I'm choking her. I'll say with Bob. <laughs> I'm choking her. <laughs> choking her up here. <laughs>
environments. I may have my kids next week. I don't know. I just, this relaxes me. Hi, Sherry. Didn't even see you until I saw Clara say, hey, hey, Laura. Hi, Laura. Thanks for coming. I can tell you all now, I've not ever had any training at this. This is just something that I like to do and picked up. So don't expect perfection. <laughs> don't expect perfection. <laughs> now, do you have the picture under the page? No. Oh, you must have drawn something on the page, backside. It's over here. It's over here to this side. Oh my goodness, Linda, that's hot. It's hot here too. It's been really, really muggy this afternoon. I went out and watered my plants and oh my gosh, it just about smothered me to death. Yeah, it's pretty bad here. Her booby in here. <laughs> She's got to have her booby in there. <laughs> I don't want to go across that arm. Worst of it is, this picture's cut off a little bit. So. She's holding this big old turkey, so I'm going to stop right there for right now. <laughs> if we can start on this little boy here looking at her. <laughs> uh, I better go back to her face. Maybe this, maybe so, maybe so. Oh, I opened the door, Jean. That's as far as I got. And then I was looking for my hubby to tell him to get his full self in the house. It was too hot to be out there messing around. But he loves the heat. It doesn't bother him like it does me. I just messed up my line. Your pencil's got to go. It's got a dead side on it. You know, they say that doing Zentangle is good for your brain, that it keeps your brain alert. Hasn't worked so far, but hey, I'm still trying. <laughs> Mary, can you take the banner off? Just click on it again. Where, uh -huh. where you put up where Jean Peter was, said something because they're saying it's blocking your picture. Okay, well, how do I get it off? 
um, click back on it again. Okay, I'm clicking. I'm clicking. Well, I'm you, have clicking. you have to go back to the same comment. Okay, highlight the last comment made and then click back on it and take it right back off. All right, let me find it here. I don't know why it was. Uh... Oh, there it is. Okay, there we go. Ha! Ah, something new every day. <laughs> <laughs> something new every day. <laughs> now, <laughs> now then, this woman actually reminds me of my grandmother. So much. Okay. Let's get this mouth in here right. Wow, you draw fast. Huh? You draw fast. Well, yeah, but I keep tweaking it so it's, it won't be fast in the long run. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kind of drawing an outline to go by here right now. And... Uh, Side of her shirt's kind of flipped out here like that. She can look at things and draw them. Well, we both can. Does, yeah, no, uh -uh. I, uh, I use the ribbon spool to draw my circles. That's one thing I cannot master is drawing a circle. Now, how did I do that? I was going to draw tags tonight for the um, Defy team, but I was too tired to cut any out, to be honest with you. Hmm. <coughs> I'm telling you right now, this doesn't look like this one. Do <laughs> what? I said, I'm telling you right now, this doesn't look anything like this one. here in here. Hey, is that a lady? Is it a lady? Yeah, it's a lady cooking. Okay. Well, I'm seeing her upside down. So. <laughs> well, let me get it over here in front of my camera. See? There's the picture. Put it on the other side. Other side. 
Oh, there you go. Oh, I see. She's bending down. Okay. Yeah, that, makes more, that makes more sense she's, now. She's getting into the into the turkey here. And she's got long hair, actually. If you get a look, and she's got a kind of a ponytail knot here up in the back. And coming down on her shoulders. Hmm. So... We'll see if we can't uh, do a little something with that and maybe tighten this up just a little right here. Just a. I better see right. my pencil. I'm making mistakes. So that's kind of pulled backwards like that. Try that. Yeah, there you go. All right. Now. Bye, Linda. Enjoy. I was going to do okay, pasta. Honey. I ended Come up. Back. I ended we'll up. I just did a meatball sub instead. We had the grilled cheese sandwiches. Oh, I love those. Grilled cheese and made her soup. Um, yum, yum, yum. idea what kind of pattern that is on her dress either. And she's got a, a black apron on. I can't see that. Yeah, she did yeah. kind of pick a hard one, didn't she, Tina? <laughs> and I would have picked a piece of flower sitting on the table. <laughs> I don't like to draw people. I have a hard time getting the eyes and the chins to line up. Mine always look a little. This may take me a little longer than. You know, I may work on this a couple of times. I don't know. It just takes a so while. <laughs> okay, that's going to be her apron, and I'm, she but she needs to be cut off right there because she's not in that picture. <laughs> So I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I need to scoot her over on the page. I may go to flowers. <laughs> <laughs> I may go to flowers. I've got my art book here. I could just so, show some of the things I've done before. I will show you one I've done that's in here. Find where she's at. Have fun, Jean. My heart bleeds for you, honey. Really, it does. That's all the reason I'm putting off having sales now, and I have got so much stuff bagged up. Let me ask you guys in chat. This is one I did. Can you tell who that is? No. Oh, oh that's your granddaughter, isn't it? Uh uh. No, that is. Uh, an old picture of um, Doris Day. Oh, wow. When she was like in the 40s, like in the 40s or the 50s. And this was something I did for Mike Deacon when it, this was last year's, and it was um, a tribute to her. Mm. So. I haven't done any of his mission inspirations this year. Thank you, honey. Was it upside down to you? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> well, I'll turn it back around. Uh, just a minute. Messages back up again. Okay. <laughs> I 
And then I used some pastels on it to give her some Mary, color. Click on you so they can see the whole thing. Huh? Click on you, make you large so they can see the whole thing. This is the whole thing. Are no, you no, looking? No. I mean, put you on the screen, just you. Hey, care heart. Put just you on the screen so they can see the whole thing that you're. Oh, well, well, <laughs> that's okay. it. Uh, I couldn't tell when she had it flipped upside down. I, there we go. Okay. <laughs> That's uh, that's my Doris Day picture, and uh, my sentiment below it is a song that made me think of her, which is, and she sang it a long time ago, and that's all remember you. And when the angels ask me to recall the thrill of it all, I remember you. All remember you. And so, <laughs> anyway, this is was my art journal for my Deacon's group, and I, I was. Uh, <clears throat> this is one of my first ones. Let's see. What else have I done? Now, this is all the, the stuff that went with it. And this is called Our Story. And along with it, I wrote this. And a visible thread connects those who are destined to meet, regardless of time, place, or circumstances. The thread may stretch or tangle but it will never break. You may be open. You may, you, may you be open to each thread that comes your way, the golden ones and the, the coarse ones, and may you weave them into a beautiful life. So, and then the, the um, feather. I miss doing Mike's art journals. I just haven't had time. Yeah. And then this was uh, Love Blooms in the Spring. Care wants yeah. to copy it's it. It's actually not mine. Uh, Care, uh, I have copied that, but I have several that are my own, but I will share that with you. Yes. It is beautiful. And, uh, and this is my garden gate, my garden door. Oh, I remember Some that one. I enjoyed that one. Together. Well, okay. And this is up above the streets and home, rainbows climbing, climbing high. And uh, this is one that I did draw. Yeah, she's not very good, but I did draw her. Um, that one. We were cussing that one. <laughs> yeah, there is a time for every season, and it was really a difficult one to do. So, yeah, I'm talking about one of the houses. <laughs> and uh, oh yeah, really the high the houses, yes. And this is uh, whoops, upside down. I love that one. Was the whole book upside down. And these were just uh, painted cutouts. And this was something that I had laying around forever and I just decided it should be in my journal because I just think it's so pretty. And then of course there's that one. And then here is, this was going to be a hanging heart, but I didn't get it done. And uh, I just got it on the page, and I didn't get, I didn't get it cut out to hang. So, but that's an angel card that's in the center of it. And so that's a whole thing. Well, yes, you should draw. You should just come up on with us and. And just start drawing, honey. You know, I don't have a pencil. This this will spark me, and I'll I'll draw for two or three weeks, stopping sometimes. And uh, 
Oh, that would be a beautiful quilt. What, the golden thread? Yeah. Or what? The fly, I, well, I think the flowers would. Yeah. Oh, I just messed that one up. You should, Laura. It's very relaxing. This is how I de-stress the evenings a lot of times. Come on with this, Laura. I'll send, I'll send you the link. I've lost my, I've lost my magazine. Get my magazine back up here. Mine tremble too. Bet. I don't know what happened to me about two hours ago, but I got ice cold and was shivering, and then I turned the fan off and was still cold, so I went and checked my blood pressure and my sugar, and both were normal. So I don't know what was happening, but it stopped. Hmm. Hmm. What do I want to do here? Okay, I haven't quite got her nose right here. So what? I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to take those glasses off. I'm gonna take her glasses off. Fix her. Fix her eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Might have been here. I was channeling somebody other than me because I'm always hot. Our air conditioner has already broke twice this year and it's brand new. It just can't keep up. It's too hot. Well, it's not actually, well, I guess it is breaking down because it's freezing up. Ice inside and outside. Thank you all for coming tonight. It means the world to us that you came. suddenly turning my circle into a square. 
<laughs> hey, Tanks. Oh, Tanks. <laughs> quit that. Quit that. Quit that. <laughs> oh, that is too funny. <laughs> yeah, it would be my favorite one, too, if I didn't have pain. <laughs> Oh, that's hysterical. Hi, Susie. Welcome, welcome. Hello, Susie. Thank you for coming to see us. I may cut them off. I may just cut this gal off and just have her fade out. It's really more about just her and the boy than it is anything else. So, I'm going to take all that off. Hi, Mark. Oh, you're <laughs> getting a raid. Hi, good deal. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, Kev. <laughs> Hello, coffee first and steam later. <laughs> what? Coffee first and steam later. That's my kind of, that's kind of my thinking. Oh. <laughs> that is kind oh, of my that thinking. was so sweet of Adrian and Simon. Yes, it was. Tell them we love them. <laughs> I will. <laughs> That's a first for my channel to have a raid. <laughs> Is it really? Uh -huh. That's so sweet. <laughs> All right, Hi, Arlene. Be safe. <laughs> Thanks for coming in, honey. <laughs> and thank you all for raiding my channel. That tickles me to death. I hope you're giving big thumbs up. <laughs> yeah, don't forget to thumbs up right here. Now I'm going to go back to Kathy, <laughs> too. Do what now? I'm going to go back to you. Hello, where are you? At the stream. <laughs> okay, okay, right here. There we go. Now I got it. <laughs> <laughs> I could do you large so they can see your zentangles that you're doing. Well, they can't now. My hands are big old fat hands in the way. It does look more like a man when it's upside down. <laughs> it does. That's why I was asking you if you're doing yeah, it. It does. It looks more like a man. Oh, well. It's not a man. <laughs> Not a man, and she's not bending as much as she should, and so you know, really, I've kind of screwed it up just to I start. Hey, Kim, hey, Kim. It's all right, she could be holding the turkey up a little bit higher. <laughs> I can't wait to see you draw that turkey. Well, yeah, that may be a problem. <laughs> that may be a problem. Get our hands in here. That's now, guys. Every other Sunday, we're going to be on Mary's channel, and every other Sunday, we're going to be on my channel. But one of the things I want to do, I have a couple of people that have asked, Can they come on and draw too? So, what I want to do is make those challenge nights if we put anybody else on the panel and everybody in the chat challenge us to draw something. Oh, Lord, and then determine who drew it best. It won't be me. Oh, I'm Lord. Sure. I'm telling you ahead of time, it won't be me. <laughs> okay, this is going to shorten this woman's arms down until it's pathetic. So I may have to have her reaching out to him. I may have to alter this photo. Yeah, get a little audience participation going. <laughs> 
<laughs> Thank you, honey. I'm drawing a woman and her grandson, but you know, it's uh, it's going to it's challenging me at this moment because I really have to be in the mood to draw. And just because we say we're going to go on and draw, doesn't mean there's a mood. <laughs> yeah. That's why I'm doodling. <laughs> All right, honey. You guys will be able to tell when I'm in the mood to draw or not because if I'm not in the mood to draw, I'm going to be doodling. You can draw people. Okay, I got to get this out of here and get me a different hand on it. What I like about this is you can split this up like a gummy racer. I can draw some people. <laughs> Where is she? You do draw people. That's what I said. <laughs> I drew one. Well, I like my little. I like drawing my little characters most. So. I can turn this around. Maybe she won't look, look quite. <laughs> I, can draw, I can draw strange looking people. <laughs> <coughs> now I've just got started. So, so uh, oh, the best player. Hi. Hi, Adrian and Simon. Hello, hello. Thank you for the raid. <laughs> it was very kind of you. And it was Mary's first time, so hey, yeah, Adrian, my very first time. Hey, Adrian, you were her first. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm cutting this picture off into kind of a diamond shape. Because I'm not gonna get her all in here and for the little boy either so i'm not gonna try the turkey either <laughs> you're not gonna do the turkey you're not gonna do the turkey come on do the turkey i want to see if your dog looks like a parakeet no, in the oven. <laughs> <laughs> yes adrian your cough didn't sound good tonight huh okay i'm gonna have her reaching out for him i think so let's get her hands out here. So she could be reaching out for him instead of cooking a turkey. Yeah, I think so. Cheater, we'll, cheater. We'll see. We'll see. Depends on how good I can draw this hand. Have her, reach, have her reaching out for him and him dropping the turkey. <laughs> Speaking of coughs. Yeah, speaking of coughs. <coughs> Don't make me laugh. Uh-oh, <laughs> buffering. I am. Huh? I'm buffering. Can I reset? I think I can. You're buffering or uh, we're all buffering? I was and I was locked up. It's fixed now. I just had to refresh. Okay. What the heck is a budge smuggler? Budgie smuggler. Um, the majority of them are, Laura. That's why you don't see them in our lives if we're late at night because they're sound asleep counting the sheep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I know they don't allow it in most places here either, Laura. We've got two of them sitting here and can't even go out and use them.
Oh, I would love to get a Scotland. Okay. This arm. It's so dandruff right here. Yep, you're right, Laura. But it don't matter because it doesn't, there's only one person that doesn't have doesn't have a life. So that's pretty good since there's only one. Everybody else is happy or lucky. And they're a turd. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh-oh, what? Tanks is putting his little one-liners in. <laughs> <laughs> there was a wee woman from Muff. <laughs> Which Muff is where he is from. <laughs> uh -oh, oh, okay. Well, Muff means something totally different here. <laughs> Muff is the town he is from in Ireland. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, let's see. We're going to start with her hand right in here. Because we don't know what she's holding yet. She may be taking something from the little boy. We don't know. Yeah, We're going to reconfigure this. Taking his lollipop away, the mean old woman. <laughs> she may be saying, a turkey's about done. Quit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not reading that part. No. No. <laughs> Don't go there, Jinx. <laughs> You need to quit. <laughs> We've got too many ladies in here. <laughs> really? <laughs> Get it. <laughs> Any other time, I probably would want to hear the rest of that. <laughs> okay. I'm not happy with her at all. That. I need to flatten her face out. Well, it looks like she's got a Homer Simpson mouth, but it might be because I'm looking at her upside down. Well, she probably does. It's uh, that help? Right now, teeth up. That help? I don't know. I'm looking at her upside down. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell nothing. Okay. We'll turn her back around. And uh, But I cannot draw upside down now. That's all there is to it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. Okay, you help. Help us. <laughs> okay. Did that help? No, what is that around her mouth? Well, it's her chin and her chin, and I haven't got it defined yet. Oh, okay. Her chin is real chubby. Okay. <laughs> See how chubby her cheek is? So I haven't got it defined yet. Oh, okay. Because, I, because I've redone her. So I she actually seeing, could come back here. I was seeing a Homer Simpson mouth. Okay. Well, see, she should come back like that. Wow, did that ever make a difference? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hi, Malia. <laughs> Welcome back here. Is this a boob? 
this is a boob right here. <laughs> it's not, it is defined as a boob. <laughs> I haven't got her dress filled in yet. This is just the shadows going in and some of the bits and pieces. You have to give me time. <laughs> oh, crunch. That, that was a button on her boob. <laughs> See, I wasn't going to ask that question. That is a button on a boob. I'm gonna move that button. That's what everybody's getting at. Okay, let's move that button up a little. And it's kind of a ruffled little rose with the center. You know, like a 1950s dress. All right. Did that help? <laughs> Get that off her booby. She's got on good foundation. <laughs> Which is more than I can say. <laughs> no, it was a button. There's a button there. And actually, her collar comes that far down. Mm -hmm. About there. <laughs> You're watching two pairs of drawers. <laughs> drawers. <laughs> There's a truck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tinks, I love you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm not even wrapped tight. <laughs> I guess that's why we love you so much. Yep. <laughs> Always got something funny to say. <laughs> I'm going to give her a little bit of softness around this face with her hair. And define her head a little bit more. Now let's get this little boy in here. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Well, I have a dimmer control. What did you lose? On the keyboard, it's sitting right up in front of me. I know we said on Mary's channel, people were texting me, say, message me saying, are you going live? Are you going live? We've been waiting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we are. We are. We've been there for a while. Oh, 
like these pencils. And they still got <laughs> still texting. Mm -hmm. Now what? I think I would do. Who care? It's for me. What? This little boy like looks like he's got something on his face. Do you already have mine care? This has been a while back. <laughs> oh, everybody that's here, go to Care Heart. So you're right there with big old smelly face. That's the one that does the Disabled Artist Foundation. So we need everybody to subscribe to her channel and support her channel and the Disabled Artist Foundation. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm doing lopsided stems coming and going. What in the world is going on with me? Well, one's always fatter. I don't know what's going on. There. <laughs> Laura, you are not a doofus. Stop saying you are a doofus. Mary, do you realize you don't have any mods? Uh, uh, Adrian's a mod. Oh, is he? Oh, he yeah. is. Uh -huh. Oh, and Tink is a mod, too. Okay. Tink is a mod, and uh, you're a mod, but you're not on there. <laughs> Well, I can be if somebody starts acting ugly. <laughs> Just making sure we got our troll patrol in place. <laughs> Oh, that one's too far down. Okay, Adrian, thank you. Thank you, sweetheart. See what happens when you're her first time, you become a sweetheart. <laughs> Uh, 
Okay, let me see. We're going to put in the center of that. Oh, I know what I want to put in the center of that. It's definitely got that 50 short haircut. Have a great dinner, Clara. Hi, Miss Kim. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You have to go to her channel, Care Heart, and uh, let me see if I can if I can do it. I'll have to get on YouTube though. Are Copy you on YouTube? Link. Are you? Have you got YouTube open? Who? You copy Care's link. Have you got YouTube open? No, you don't. Do, do I need? To? <laughs> okay, well here, hang on. I, I will. Uh, why is this going to a search? Thank you very much. I don't need to search. Wouldn't want to want it. Uh, what are you doing? Oh my God. What happened? My computer's going wacky. <laughs> Thanks, good. Feeling fat. I've got Classroom Google One. What? I don't know how I did that. Me either. Uh, let me get out of some of this. And we'll do it again. Okay. Now, YouTube. Okay, something's there. It is. I had my book up on the keyboard. Hello. There, found it. <laughs> Finally. Okay. Here we go. Copy. And then paste. Okay, that is Care Hearts link that I just put in. And if y'all will go to it and um, will subscribe, it would be great. <laughs> What's Adrian's got going on in 15 minutes? Bed? <laughs> it's bedtime, I know, for him. <laughs> In the 
going to be able to do this little boy justice. I do the same thing, Laura, and it's some stuff I'm just dying to start on, but I know that I'm not actually in the crafting mood to do it. So I'm just doing, trying to get back in the crafting mood. How are you, Laura? I finished mine. Well, I finished all I'm going to do to it. But guess what? I have to make another one. Another little golden book one. You go to the channel, Adrian. You highlight the little thing up there next to the padlock, the search area. You highlight that. You copy it. You come back here. You click on where you're going to say something, and then you right-click and do paste. Hey, Miss Judy. You haven't missed anything yet. We're still enjoying Okay, Grandma's got his hand. So, huh? Grandma has his hand. So, oh. we're going to fix that. You could have her reaching out and grabbing him by the front of his shirt. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get my turkey? <laughs> oh, let's see. Let's put some, a little background behind them here. <laughs> oh. 
this is definitely not finished. You could have drawn the turkey standing straight up on his head for a hat. <laughs> yeah. No, Grandma, I haven't seen a turkey. Why do you ask? Oh, no, Laura. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I can't believe how fast you're drawing that. And I got three little circles partially done. <laughs> well, it's not the best drawing I've ever done. But we have to do for the night and then we work a little more on it later. Okay, I'm going to put some checks in this shirt. Holy <laughs> moly, I have a deranged looking face on my page. My little boy. I'll Where's your bird? I'll her turn him around here in a minute. Yeah, that's okay, Kev. We'll take your word for it. Okay. <clears throat> he still needs some work. He needs some work in his chin. And uh, oh, there, he is. there he is. He's going to need some more work, but... Yeah, one shoulder is bigger than the other. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's good, though. Well, I've got to uh, even him up here. I've got, because I've got this. See, I'm going to take part of him out. His ear's too big. That's part of it. His ear's way too big. To slim that down a little bit. Let's see. I'm gonna come 
their knee. I don't want to cut off their hands. So, maybe we'll trim out a little more. That's going to cut off hands. So, don't like that. Never says Jean Peter said that about circles. I cannot draw a freaking straight circle. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look at there. It's squirted it again. She jinxed me. She jinxed me. Ear helped bring it down a little. Lighten up a little on that side. Yeah, but these little bitty circles, I can't do that, Adrian. I bet you I'll find me a top of something that I can trace. Because I am messing up these little circles. I think the older we get to, the less our eyes see things the same. Okay. <coughs> I need my glasses. Really bad. Where are they? Uh -huh. I don't know. Where's my flowers? I think I'm going to go back to doing flowers for a little while. Did you get tired of the circles? Yeah, my eyes aren't working right. These I can just basically well, drink. I'm about to go blind here. In well, this line. My eyes closed. Finish up this page. Well, I'm not going to call this finished, but I may work on it some more. Uh, I'm not happy with her face. It's oh, it's all right, but her eyes really not offset like it should be. And, uh, Well, I went down here. I put another one of those. She should have a few wrinkles in her forehead. At least she should in my book. I've got them. <laughs> I've got the 
those wrinkles in my forehead. She ought to have some. <laughs> you have wrinkles? Oh my God, yes. I don't have wrinkles. I have roads. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, what was that, mate? What? She just needs some cleanup here. Big time. Here's the internet went out. They had lightning strike nearby. Oh man, tell her to keep that mess down there. Oh, no, no. Get it up here. My. We're still clear and hot and still here. Oh man. We're supposed to get some this evening. And when our light, when lightning hits in our neighborhood and hits a transformer, we're out for weeks. No. Okay. Because yeah, Electric sucks. Let's see which one I have a little one. Bring a little one down here. Been easier to do a page <laughs> Well, I tell you what, now when it starts to storm, I get offline and shut my computer down because I'm hearing too many people are losing their computers over storms. Tell her, don't worry about it, Laura. We'll be back on Thursday. <laughs> Maybe you'll get some of them, Judy. You can get them instead of sending them up here. Ladies,
lefty wide. Storms don't bother me, but my little boy dog is terrified of them. And he hasn't been feeling too well the last couple of days, so. He has actually gotten so scared during a storm, he's gone and shook so bad, he's gone into seizures. Okay, Kev, thanks for coming. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Kev. <laughs> Good night, honey. Uh, I appreciate you coming. I really do. I don't know what kind of pattern to put on her dress, so I'm going to have to think about that. Okay. I'm sure they ought to have another button down here somewhere real quick. Right down in there. Kind of in that shadow. Okay, uh, I'm going to quit. <laughs> I'm going to do some watching Jack for a minute. Uh, so let's get Kathy on and see what all she's doing here. I'm just playing with my flowers again. Thank you, Laura. I enjoy drawing flowers. I don't know why. I just don't want to be here. Oh, <laughs> I want you on. How do I get you up, Big? Click on my picture. That went to me. Well, then you click it on the wrong picture. <laughs> I, uh, I guess so. I want to go small. Then click on my picture. Oh, oh, there. Wait a minute. There. Yay. <laughs> I don't use this enough to know all this stuff. I've only used it alone. <laughs> well, I've, uh, you know, I picked something that was really hard and that I would have to do for several times. But uh, I'm going to quit on it right here and do it a little later. And maybe make it look a little bit. This, this little boy's shoulders are way too big. I need to cut him down. Thin him down a little bit. I'll do people next time. See, that helped. This, this needs to come down. Or animals. <laughs> on this side. shoulder in a little actually Mary we can't see what you're doing because you got it on me <laughs> I know that's okay I want you on there I'll show him after after a bit but anyway I shortened his his shoulders that's what I did <laughs> so but I'm loving that background that you're doing 
I'm thinking about making copies of these to send to the hardest for coloring pages. I think that would be cool. Huh? I think that would be really cool. I was wondering if they would want anything like this. I don't know why not. It's like a coloring page to me. Because I probably have about 12 art journals full of just hand drawings. Thank you, Laura. Oh, cool. Kim, I didn't know you were still here. <laughs> and Sherry says she would love to. Can I put some together and send them to Jean Peter and tell her that she can add them into kits and stuff or whatever? white pencil. Mike, his eyes sparkle. I thought you was finished and you were going to talk to Chad. Well, I, I got to fixing this guy's shoulders and now I'm back in it again. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, how you do when you see something and you think, okay, that that really needs to be different, you know, and then you just start. <laughs> Sherry, what other kind of things would you like to? Uh, <laughs> oh, are you still here? Give me some ideas of things other than flowers I can draw, send coloring pages. Big leaves Ooh, I, can do, I can do I can do ocean and boat scenes really good it is awesome that 19 likes yay yay thank you so much oh Kim what salmon with orange glaze rice pilaf and green beans mm. Mm -mm -mm. yep 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 Hey, can you stick on you for a minute while I go get a drink? Yes, I will. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> okay, I'll turn this around where you always see it. I did a little more work on the boy. And, uh, <laughs> I feel kind Thank of you, Laura. It, 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 it uh, blurred out there for a minute. <laughs> My camera did. So anyway, here's my grandma and the little boy, and uh, it's not exactly like the picture, but it never is, so uh, I've gotten a little closer with my family members that, you know, that was the first, just, just sitting down and not having my big uh, sketch pad and, and working it in. Thank you, Laura. It's okay. It's not bad. It's not as good as the picture by any means, but you know, it'll work. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you, Kim. I think it looks pretty good considering that I just picked that up last two minutes before we started and said, okay, I'm going to draw this. <laughs> I didn't have time to really uh, think it out or think it over or do anything like that. I just said, okay, we're going to do this. <laughs> I got to finish up my background in, behind him. But anyway, it's uh, it was fun though. I enjoyed doing it and the more I draw, the better I get. So I'll start like this and then I then I go back in and I look at my picture real well and then I go to thinking, okay, this is what she needs and this is what she needs and this is, you know, that she needs this. And uh, I have um, so many pictures on my wall, but I do have a video up that shows some of my artwork on my channel. And... Um, it's my first intro. It says first intro on it. And it shows a lot of my artwork, um, including some painting on, on glass and several things on it. But yeah, I'm, but I enjoy doing it. This paper does not erase like a, a sketch pad would. It is more of a even though it says it's a sketch pad, it's not that great. But I wish that I could take some of these down and show you some of my pictures that I have done of my family. Um, I don't know if I can pull that camera out and show you or not. I have an art wall that let me see if i can pull this out of here let's see if i can pull this out of here and then turn you around okay let's see this is a picture of my grandfather and i did that many moons ago and it looks like him <laughs> and this one is a picture of my father. Pull my cord up here. And that's a picture of me and Herb and the family. And that's a picture over here of my mother. So. So, and then I have several others here. I've got pictures of uh, my father in later years and I've got pictures of my husband and uh, you know several others so anyway I'll get you back down to where you're seeing this one and thank you um, I do love to draw sometimes it's few and far between one of the things that I do love to draw is hands and uh, I've drawn several pictures of hands folded in prayer and I do enjoy it and I don't know if you can see her hand well but uh, I really enjoy drawing hands and the, and uh, getting the right movement and things in it and this one I've got her knuckles way too dark but you know you go in and you draw them and then you have to take your eraser and just kind of go back over them and define the areas that you really want to show up and what you want to fade out. So, you know, like this uh, wrist here, This, these are the lines around her wrist, but they're real dark, so you have to lighten them up a little bit. So there's just kind of a hint of a line around her wrist because old people have lines around their hands. <laughs> I can tell you that. <laughs> they sure do. <laughs> so <clears throat> it's uh, it's I'm 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 not unhappy with it. I'm not real pleased with it yet. There's still more I want to do. I need to flesh her out a little bit more. I would like to. Uh, okay, what did he do with it? 
she's on the front page of one of these. Not that one. Is it under it? Yeah. But, yeah, see, she's got a little fleshier face than what I've given her. And so I need to go in and fill that face out a little bit. Because her face is too thin. And, uh, of course, I've got her slanted a little bit different, so I'm having to change things. But, you know, she's got a lot more flesh on her cheeks. And, and uh, you know, need to flesh her out a little bit. And then I would like to go over with some, some pastels and give her some color and put some design in her in her dress and you know color him in a little bit put a little, the blush on his cheeks where it needs to be because he is he's got quite a bit of blush on him you know if you look at him real close he's got and i don't have his eyes tilted up and up and uh i need a white pen to put that that light in his eyes to give him that uh real look to him so I can see some of the things that I need to do, but all my craft stuff is still upstairs. I brought down my sketchbook and some pencils and grabbed these magazines so I'd have something to look at. I would like to do her, this woman over here, right there. <laughs> I would like to do her. I think she would be fun. And do her in full length, if possible. But these are reminisce magazines, and I love to go back in time. There was one of in here of uh, Raymond Burr that was just a profile picture, and oh my gosh, I just thought I want to draw him. Do y'all remember Raymond Burr? <laughs> and then look at this. Yeah, he was good looking when he was younger. Okay, Adrian, sleep well and take something for that cough. See if you can get over it and be careful. And don't let it go too long without going to the doctor if possible. Good night, Adrian. It's so nice for you to be here. And Tinks, I don't know if I'm I think I missed him already. I think he's already gone. Here's another one that I would love to do too. I just think she has such a precious face. And this bar, I'm not picky. I love salmon. I don't like anything on it. You love which one? I said I love salmon. I don't like orange glaze on it. I want to taste my salmon after orange glaze. Mm. We're going to go back to Kathy. <laughs> they keep talking about me being a picky eater. I just don't use a lot of condiments. You know, I don't need a lot either. I don't, give me my salt and pepper and I'm happy. I want to yeah. taste my food, not everything else. I do think salt is a great thing, even though everybody says you shouldn't be eating salt, Mary. You shouldn't be eating salt. Good night, honey. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, salt is what gives your salmon flavor or your meat flavor or you know, whatever you're eating. My kids, will, they call me and they'll say, come fix this some gravy. And I'm like, you know how to make gravy. And he'll say, yeah, but it don't taste like yours. So I go down there and I make gravy and I salt it and they just lap it up. And they say, mom, your gravy is so good. And I say, it's because I salt it. <laughs> You know, <laughs> salt gives it flavor. It is flavor in an answer. <laughs> so, I don't use salt either. So, oh, my son, he uses none. I mean, he does not put any in his cooking. And I'm like, son, a little bit of salt is not going to kill you. So tell dad that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. He's dead. Because <laughs> he ate the salt. He died of uh, diabetes and kidney failure. Not, not his blood pressure. 
be able to tell the son that just because he's being a smart aleck. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, I just don't overdo it. That's it. We found a 13th, 14th century gold ring a few weeks ago. It's awesome. Well, I've never liked the taste of salt, and Peter has high blood pressure, pressure, so that works. Oh my God, 11,000 views on your ring, Adrian. How awesome is that? Wow. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy for you. How awesome. He did find an awesome ring. It was. It was all engraved inside and was just absolutely awesome. Wow. That is so, so neat. I love it. You could have done it and watch your dancing, too. <laughs> I could do a um, metal detecting video and throw the camera to Peter real quick and say, here, video me getting locked up. Because <laughs> <laughs> we're not allowed to do it. <laughs> night honey i'm so proud of you that's wonderful that is excellent i told you you was going to run over me <laughs> <laughs> oh yes i like the fishing ones where they were doing the uh, magnet fishing uh-huh i love those <laughs> Uh, they are awesome, Laura. You will enjoy them. They're fun and fun to funny to watch, and and, and you know, some are nice. <laughs> they uh, they love to have a good time, and that's what I enjoy about it is that they enjoy they enjoy it so much. <laughs> so. They're uh, wonderful, sweet guys. Simon isn't on here tonight, but Simon is uh, younger than Adrian, and they go out together. And they started doing lives when they're uh, when they were Simon's a cute little thing too. Uh, Simon's a cute little thing too. Mm -hmm. He is good looking, and. Um, He's got a, a cute little girl that is wonderful to see. And then, <laughs> go to bed, son. Now go to bed, Adrian. <laughs> I'm <in bed>. still <laughs> You're still listening and lurking. <laughs> <laughs> Take some cough syrup and go to sleep and stop being pig-headed. <laughs> if not that, a good stiff uh, hit of whiskey and then go to bed and sleep that off. You're not going to get well if you don't take care of it. Like a hot toddy. <laughs> don't make me come that. over there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't make us come over there. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kathy, I am loving that page. It's about done. I don't think I can squeeze much more on it. <laughs> oh, you can get a couple of big leaves there in the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just fill it on out. <laughs> Yes, I think you ought to make copies of those and send them to the hardest. That would be cool. Yeah, I've got to drag out some of my other books and send some. And send this one. And next time I may do flowers. Oh, I didn't show you my flower one that's in here. Where is it? Where is it? It didn't come up for some reason. Well, you still don't have it on you, so they can't see it. Well, it's, I'm looking for it first. 
because I don't know where it's at. It should be in here. It may to be to the back. Oh my goodness. No, here they are. Okay. This is uh, some painting that I did. Wow, really? <laughs> it's still on me. You go off in there. <laughs> and I think it's turned the right way. Yeah. Oh, wow. Is that, what is that? Well, that was actually a, um, a tree hydrangea. With the butterfly on it. Yeah. But what did you make it with? Is it, is it a real tree? Acrylic, acrylic, acrylic paints. Oh, okay. Wow, it looks 3D. It, wow, it really does the way it's standing up off the page. That's great. What does? Your flower. Yeah. Oh, the flower. You. Oh, thank you. It's because I put that dark in there behind there. That's and good. then went back over it with my light. And um, it's not as good of colors as it could be, but it's it was pretty close to what I was looking at. So, oh, movie time with hubby. Enjoy, Judy. I have been, I started watching. Bye, Judy. I turned us both on here. Let's get us both on here. Both going. Um, I started watching Designated Survivor, which I have never seen started watching it on Netflix because Designated Survivor came on when Tommy's wrestling was on. And, you know, he was like, we can't watch that more. My wrestling's on. So, we, um, thank you. Thank you, honey. Um, so I started watching it and, oh my gosh, if I start, I can't go to bed. I mean, it's, it's awful because, you know, it just leaves you hanging. Every episode just leaves you hanging. <laughs> Wanting more. It's on for three seasons. I don't know if it's going to come back on and on. I really doubt it, but uh, I'll have a watch soon, so I'll know. <laughs> oh my gosh, if I, if I just would not do that to myself. You know, just say, okay, self, you've watched two episodes. Go to bed. No, no. Let's watch one more. One more. One more. It's one more. <laughs> when you get messages, I'm hearing beeping. And it's not mine. Sorry, you just made me jump out of my chair. <laughs> I swear she did. What'd she do? I was putting a message on Facebook and Laura answers it with these great big purple hearts that went flying across the page. Scared <laughs> the living snot out of me. Because <laughs> I was on my phone, not on my computer. <laughs> Excuse me. Am I locked? I'm locked up. Let me refresh again. I think we ought to do some mixed media too, Kathy. Oh, yeah. I really do. I love mixed media. Laura is the mixed media queen. I know. She needs to come on with this. <coughs> My book is in sad shape because I've done some. I didn't finish this one. 
We used it for brush off babes there. That's all the dinner. I found a smaller one that I made. Okay, now I've lost my picture. There it is. <laughs> yeah, I think you ought to come on with it, Laura. Let's do some mixed media before long. You know, that's a form of artwork. It's, a, it's something that I found very hard to start. You know, this was this was my idea of art, or that the Kathy's doing, but not putting everything under the sun on your page, and 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 making it into art. And I have a hard time doing it. <coughs> I would put something down, and I would pull it off, and I would pull something. You know, I would try something different, and all of mine just look so bad. <laughs> they just look so bad. I don't really like doing the stick pull kind. I'd rather have, you know, just say, okay, make a mixed media thing of your choice. Laura, flowers are the easiest thing to do. <coughs> <laughs> you okay over there? Yeah. You're right. <laughs> You're Where's gasping for air. <laughs> huh? Mom, I said you want regular water ice Shorten that off. Uh, ice water. See, I start a lot of entangles and then I come back and uh, finish them off when I'm looking for something to do. Yeah, I guess the mixed media background started. <laughs> I could cheat. <laughs> and I skip around in my journal too so that the spine doesn't split. I want to figure out makes maybe kits for the hardest if any are interested. Oh, that would be fun. I think a lot of them would be interested, to be honest with you. Yes. I think that would be really fun. And you'd be a good teacher, too. You go to the Dollar Tree and get the little um, kits of spackling for them to use for texture paste. Who is that?
she's writing a whole letter over there. <laughs> right. <laughs> I wish I had my markers out now. <laughs> yeah, they could have a pilot, like I said. Uh, she can buy a five gallon bucket, joint compound, five bucks, and some change at Walmart. That's a little litter bowls from Dollar Tree. Yeah, that's a good idea. Some little apple barrel paints for them to put some color in them if they want it. <clears throat> you should get excited. That's an awesome idea. Yeah, I love that idea. I think the hardest would love it too. There's a lot of them that I've, you know, see say they come to like the mixed media lives where people are drawing sticks and stuff. And I see a lot of them say they would love to do it, but they don't have the stuff they need to do it. That's so the I trouble is that you really don't need a lot of stuff to do it if you if you know how to apply it. Yeah. I didn't what, know how to apply it. It was uh you know, I was I was just lost at first. And Kathy, you're the one that, that forced me into it and got me started in it. And now I love it. I force people into a lot of things. Oh. I force people into a lot of things. I know you're good at it. I like getting people out of their comfort zone. By George, I made that black and white journal and y'all never going to hear the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> That was way out of my comfort zone. <laughs> That's fine, Tom. <laughs> I think I'm going to need a fudge circle here in a little bit. You're going to need a what? A fudge sickle ice cream. Oh my god, that sounds good. <laughs> I love them. Yes, yeah, stencils are a good idea. And I'm sure they probably have had some stencils donated too. They can throw in those kits. But you might want to check too and see what they've already been sent. Have they already been sent mixed media kits? But I like the idea of you teaching a technique class. I want to take it even though I'm not a artist. <laughs> Me too. There's always something to learn. Guys, I'm I'm serious. I think I'm gonna come on once a week and sell because y'all y'all just can't imagine the stuff I have sitting out. Oh my god, where did it all come from? I have so much stuff to sell. Way too much. But I made a, I've decided on what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a little D on each sticker. Well, not each sticker, but on some of the stickers. And if somebody buys that, that amount will be subtracted from the other charity. And the D's will all go to Defy. Where did it come from? Where did it come from? Oh, I don't know. Somebody snuck in my house when I was sleeping and dropped all this crap stuff off. I know they did. <laughs> Could have been me. 
Kathy, you haven't, all you, all this time you've been doing that thesis, you have been fine, 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 fine. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm the only person to use. <laughs> That's right, Laura. How'd you know? Well, to be honest, some of the stuff I bought now, I have I have logic behind it. <laughs> because a lot of my fabrics are very expensive because of what I pay for them. So when I go to sell them, I can't sell them cheap. So what I'll do is if I buy some fabrics on sale, or yeah, some, they're not all real expensive. <laughs> But if I find, you know, something on sale, if I find some in the thrift store that's in good condition and it's intact yardage, I buy that so I sell that cheaper so everybody can buy some. And then they don't feel bad because they can't afford to buy. And, you know, I get stuff that looks good. I don't get crap. No, your stuff is all pretty, but you know, you get trying to de-stash and you keep your brain in it. <laughs> I bought some flowers because I needed flowers. <laughs> I bought some fairy paper because I'm doing a journal. <laughs> I, I went to Michael's because they got a 70% off sale, guys. Did y'all know Michael's having a 70% off sale? <laughs> And I kept seeing all these posts. Michaels is having a seventy percent off sale. I live right behind Michaels. <laughs> I held onto my chair as tight as Watch I could. You do it go. Oh, oh I was holding on so tight, saying, "Chair, don't let me go, don't let me go." And you know what? <laughs> Next time, you, my chair was rolling down the sidewalk, headed for Michaels. <laughs> I just cheering on. We went to Michaels. <laughs> That's a lie, God. I didn't take my chair. <laughs> yeah, I bought some. Well, I got fabrics from Hawaii. Straight from Hawaii. I got fabrics straight from Mexico. From New York Fashion Week. Who's going to turn that down? <laughs> Who's going to do it? You got, you're the only one that can get it done, sissy. <laughs> yeah, you can't get it anywhere else. So I got it for you. Say thank you, Kathy. Busting <laughs> at me all the time. Swear. Nobody ever appreciates anything I do. <laughs> oh, we ever would love you. We just can't understand you sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Poor pitiful me. <coughs> just bought a little bit here and there. But now, to be fair, if we're traveling and I'm in a hotel room and I'm bored and I want to do some crafting and I didn't take no craft stuff with me, I got to go buy stuff. Yeah, well, no kidding. And when I went to visit my sister-in-law a couple of years back, maybe two years back, she made me go to Michael's with her. <laughs> she pulled your arm so hard. I know she did. She had been to Michael's since I left, since I had moved away. It's been like 13 years. She made me go. <laughs> I didn't think that little back hatch back on my SUV could hold anymore, but it did. <laughs> I got it in there. <laughs> you got it. You done it. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I know. That was just rude of her, wasn't it? <laughs> And they had a sale going on too, wouldn't you know it? <laughs> and, you know, where she lives, it's a strip mall there, and there's a Michaels on one end and Joanne's on the other. And she insisted we go to Joanne's too. <laughs> she just said, Come on, you're going, girl. Yeah, where well, she <laughs> says a lot. <laughs> oh, man, that woman does some beautiful crafting. 
Try to get her to come on my YouTube channel with me, but she says, I don't even know how to turn the computer on. Have you lost your mind? <laughs> She's 83 years old. <laughs> she twisted it hard. Yeah. <laughs> Laura, she twisted it hard. I know That's she did. messed up my rotator cuff, Laura. <laughs> I swear, I do believe. <laughs> I'm almost sure of it. Mm -hmm. Between that and picking up the 200 pound one year old grandson of mine. <laughs> God, that's the most solid baby I've ever seen in my life. I don't want to feed him anymore. I just want to say, here, you just sit here and smile. <laughs> you don't need nothing to eat. <laughs> That's where my thing is. She is just solid as a rock. And she's so she's Hi, good for her age. Anthony, I swear, I don't know what it, every time he's here, if I'm holding him a lot, even if I'm sitting down holding him, uh -huh. my back is killing me. <laughs> he's nice solid as a rock. Thank you so much for coming in and, and watching us. We appreciate it. Uh, I, I don't know. We're we're just going to enjoy this this art stream, and yes, maybe we can teach him a little something along the way. Maybe not, but I hope y'all come and enjoy it <laughs> because you know this is just uh, it's really not art drawing and things like that is really not as hard as you think it is. Pick up your pencil and try. That's that's my advice. Don't, don't ever, try to draw a picture of a magazine like Mary does to start it off with. Don't ever think you can't do it. Well, that won't be the first one I've drawn out of the magazine, honey. But you know what I'm saying is that don't ever think that you can't do it. Get you get you a pencil and a paper and draw a flower like Kathy was doing. Draw a circle flower with six petals. I'm going to be putting up some videos going slow oh. with voiceover showing how to draw different flowers and stuff. You know, to, uh, you just want to make a, and it doesn't matter in your world, it doesn't matter how many petals you have on it, you can have as many as you want. You know, it's your flower. Mm -hmm. So that's all you have to do to draw a flower. And then you can go in and you can put a little pieces in it to resemble the center and fill that. And anybody in. says, what on earth does that say? I can't believe you ain't never seen an octopus flower before. That's right. It's your, it's your world. You yeah. draw your world like you want to. Uh, you, you don't have to be perfect with them. You know, that's that's the that's the good thing. I draw these little characters called Kathy's kids and they're the ugliest little children you ever seen in your life, but I enjoy drawing them. People say they're morbid looking, but I think they're kind of creepy myself. I like them. And to draw it like a mom, you just keep making half circles all the way around the circle and just draw it in. Just keep just keep filling it in with those petals until you get it the size you want and you'll have a big mom mommy mommy you just i'm not in the where you can see what i'm doing but you see how you can just take a half circle and you just make petals where i turn around and there's you a dahlia or a mom or a whatever you want to call it, and put a stem on it and a leaf and you've drawn your flower. So it's something you can do. It, it's, it's not that hard. You just think of the basic shape and draw the stem. 
I'm turning to the side because I'm running off the page, but he's absolutely turning to the side. There you go. There's the daisy. It's and you can just fill up a page doing all those. Or do like Kathy. Do the tracing around the cup and then just fill them in with, with patterns and do the scent tangles in them. That is awesome the way she's doing that. It's it's amazing. It really frees your mind. It really does. So I hope you're that you're all, I hope you all just pick up a pencil and just go to doodling. If, and when you, you know, my mother used to doodle all the time, and she could draw the prettiest women. Sometimes her women were just amazing. Sometimes they weren't. No. But it's, uh, it's, it's just fun to do. It, it's just fun to do. I have a grandson that by the time he was in second grade was winning awards for his art at school. I mean, yeah. that boy is, he can draw anything. He just look at anything and draw it. It's amazing. Oh, those, those are born artists. That's a, that's a whole different situation. I'm mean, Barbara, uh, but you can still do it and you can still make it look good. It doesn't have to be perfect. You don't have to be perfect. You know mm -hmm. what? You don't like somebody else is going to love. I can guarantee you that. I have thrown away things that I absolutely hated and my family would come along and pick up about the trash and say, why are you throwing this away? You know, because I didn't like it. Well, one of them would take it home. You know, it's just, so don't think that it's not worth anything because it is. Art is in the eye of the beholder. And art is in our hearts. All of us have a group art in our hearts and it doesn't make any difference if it's you know masterpieces or if it's just doodling on paper if it's just making flowers i That's mean look at picasso i would never ever pay what his works are worth never picasso, they hated picasso when he was when he was first starting it's uh you know they hated him he had to be dead gone before they liked him <laughs> well, guys, well, don't wait till I'm dead and gone, okay? <laughs> like me now, okay? Because <laughs> if you wait till I'm dead and gone and you say something nice about me, I'm going to haunt you. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's give come. Kathy a big thumbs up. Yay, Kathy. <laughs> I'm going to come back and I'm going to teach you when you least expect it. <laughs> I don't want her haunting me. I'm sorry. I would love to meet her and love to hug her and, and art with her and do that kind of stuff, but I don't want her haunting me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to be a special corner too. I'm going to let people slip and fall in the grocery stores. <laughs> Bell loud gas in church. Yes, I am. I'm going to be a wicked one. I am, I am. I know some folks I definitely want to haunt, though. Barbara, uh, Kathy has done flowers and it's in tangles, and I took on something a little harder, but it's not, it's not perfect. But I did this, and uh, hopefully, by the time y'all come back, it will look a little bit better. I just needed some mind free and doodling tonight. <laughs> well, me too, I guess, because I've been doing some doodling on flowers too. So, <laughs> but anyway, don't think you can't do it. Uh, hey, Miss Shannon. One step into the next. Where's Shannon? I don't see Shannon. She's right there. She's right there. There You're she right there. is. <laughs> yes, me too. Put some color in it. <laughs> Hi, Shannon, honey. How are you? <laughs> 
I do a lot of just pencil drawings and I showed the girls a while ago some that I had on my wall and uh, they're all done in pencil, nothing but pencil. And pencil is my medium. I really like pencil. Um, I'm, I have a stabil all, but I am not crazy about them. I'm not either. I, I'm just yeah, not I really crazy. like these. Uh, I bought these um, bright crown, and you get 10, yeah. different, 10 different tips off of Amazon. And for 10, for 10 of these suckers, was less than one of the whatever you call the other guy, the Delos, the Stepadello, or whatever. Yeah, I don't like theirs. I'm, I'm just not. Yes, if you, if you just, you know, it just play around with them. It, it doesn't have to be. Nothing we do has to be perfect. Uh, you know idea is is in the eye that the art is in the eye and and they say it's in the eye of the beholder but it is in how you perceive the painting if you see and you and you want to put something in it that just draws you in like this flower or this flower should be a bright yellow something that draws your eye in and then the rest of it is just perfect around it just because you've drawn the eye into that painting and people want to stop and look at it. So, you know, don't don't hesitate in, in trying some of it. It's I must say they didn't like this, but I'm going right around this flower with it. See, they're, they're real dark. dark. Huh? They're real dark. Yeah. Well, not a happy camper must daughter and son-in-law to oh no oh no what about the baby oh my goodness is the baby okay are you gonna keep the baby oh my Mm. I am so sorry to hear that, but I hope it's a mild case. Sir. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what, though, this it scares me so bad. I just know my kids are going to run into it. Because they will not mask up. They will not wear a mask. Well, they're talking about putting Nicholas back into preschool. I know. I know. I'm going to open them back up again. And, you know, the cases in Florida are growing like crazy. Florida and Texas have been really bad. Whatever happened to people that came to your house to babysit? Oh, that's great, Shannon. Oh wow! Watch the baby because that that other stuff they they get the babies get is not good. No. So you keep an eye on her. If she gets any rash, she get her butt to a doctor. Yeah, really. That's that is just you know, Florida, California, Texas, Missouri has gone up. There was over four hundred new cases in Missouri. 
So yeah, we're getting a thousand every day, like three and four thousand. Yeah. But everybody's going to the beaches. Well, they're fixing to close them, Kathy. I heard that on the news this evening. Well, good. They need to put guards at the damn doors of these stores. Oops, oh, sorry, ladies. They need to put people at the doors of the stores. And if you don't have a mask on, you're not coming in. Yeah. So. <coughs> what, Tom? I've got to go change the TV for Tom. I will be right back. I'll be here. Everybody hide. <laughs> Lee County is over run with her right now. She is positive also, but asymptomatic. She can carry it, but won't make her sick. Oh, bless her little heart. That's scary. That wonderful doctor my grandsons go to won't even test them. We don't know if they've had it or not. But we were also sick in December and January. We all think we had it. I mean, there's not an antibiotic out there. It didn't go through my body in those months. When I get sick enough to stay in the bed, I'm pretty sick. Oh man, Laura. Hope thinks that Georgia had nineteen hundred two days ago and yesterday twenty wow. Yeah. We had planned to go to the mountains of Georgia for our anniversary and we nixed that. We had planned to go to Naples in September. We nixed that. To be honest with you, I don't want to go anywhere. <laughs> I don't feel like it's safe. I want to go, and again, I don't want to go. Okay, I found him a movie. Oh my goodness, Barbara, that's a lot. That is a lot. I don't know if I've had anything in here that somewhere over here in this 
pile of stuff. I have colored markers. <laughs> My crafting center over here that's all in the floor in bags and boxes. <laughs> All right, Miss Laura, thank you for coming. <laughs> okay, we're uh, I'm ready to go if Kathy is. Um, we've been on yeah, a couple of and it has been wonderful that you all come and join us. And I hope you join us next week on Kathy's channel. And uh, Laura, you plan on coming in too, please. <laughs> if Kathy is of that same mind, and I'm sure she is she's already invited to yeah so. dora the fluid um door the fluid crafter is coming on with us next week too yes. so Laura, if you want to you're more than welcome yeah and um let's just do some art and i i would really like for laura to come in and do a tutorial on mixed media at some point yeah, so you want to do that next week, Laura? You come on, and we'll have the camera on you, and we'll be in the background working, and you show us how to do yeah. it. And then we'll show ours as you're, as you're, as we progress. I think that I'll tell everybody ready. that Mary stole mine. What? Well, who's ever looks the best? I'll say they took mine. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's already gone. I'll message her and ask her. Thank you all for coming. Um, yeah, thanks so much. And uh, we will see you uh, Thursday on Kathy's channel. You still plan on Thursday, Kathy? Yeah, Thursday at 2 on my channel for panel crafting. Sunday at 6 on my channel for art. And most Sundays in the morning sometime on Mary's channel. For her Sunday morning chats. Yeah, uh, I'm. I have a hard time in the morning sometimes breathing, so don't always get them done when I want to. But I am. I have planned to go on every Sunday, and today I went on even when I didn't feel good, and I ended up feeling better. So, you know, sometimes you just gotta push yourself. So, um, anyway, thank you all for coming, and uh, love you all, and we will see you next week. Watch for videos and watch those. Uh, and please, whenever you go in, remember to leave a comment and do a thumbs up. Uh, it really helps the channels and it helps them grow. And uh, I hope to see you all soon. And I will come in and try to see you as soon as possible. So thank you all. Bye, ladies. Bye.